Hey everyone, have you ever tried plein air painting? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you what supplies you will need and what I am using while going out to plein air from my kayak. So stick around and I'll show you the details. Hi, I'm Kelly Tassie. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell, and you'll never miss one. I also have full monthly online classes and tutorials on my website at www.kellychassiefineart.com and I do have over 10,000 students and over 15 years of experience teaching art classes. So if you have a chance, head over to my website and check them out. Hey everyone, it's uh, 10 o'clock and I'm heading out. I'm going to go do my plain air. I'm going to turn you around here. You can see that the water is super calm today. It out. Huh? Looks good, doesn't it? So my kayaks are down there. My husband grabbed them for me this morning, and uh, we're gonna get ready to head out on the water. Seeing a few. So I wanted to show you really quickly what I bring with me. I have a little pouch, and the, yes, this is available. This is one of my art prints that I had done. I have my watercolor kit, and they just have the 12 colors with a little brush in there. That's one of my favorite kits. It's the Cotman kit by Windsor Newton. I also have my gouache in case I want to use it. I usually only use black and white just for some darker values or some highlights that I might have missed. And then you can also use a black Sharpie or a white gel pen for the same thing if you if, if it's a little bit easier, especially when you're going from a boat. <laughs> so I'm going to bring those with me as well. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but we'll find out. I also have my pencil for my light sketch and then an eraser because I don't like to use the erasers that the pencils have because they can leave some marks on the paper or mar your paper. And then I have a couple of other brushes just in case, a real fine detail brush and then my oval wash brush as well for, you know, the bigger areas. That way I can quickly do a wash in for like the sky or the, the water area. And then I'm also bringing my little finder that has a little hole in it so you can match up your colors. If you look through that, you can see if you've got the right sh the values or the shades correctly. And then you can also size up your area that you want to paint. So you'd hold it up to your scenery and you can size it either to 5 by 7, 8 by 10, 11 by 14. They have two sizes actually on here. It was a 12 by 6, 12 by 14 and an 8 by 10. So I'm going to be actually doing a 5 by 7 today. So you can adjust that for any of the scenes that you want to do. It just helps uh, the perspective. And then I have taped down my 5 by 7 watercolor paper onto a little foam backer board. And this will not fit in my bag, but I, may, I like it because it's nice and stiff and I can easily paint on that. And I do most of my online classes with these as well. So everything else will fit in here. I also have my cup of coffee. Oh, and I also have my water. Even though I'll be on the lake, I don't want to put any watercolor into the lake. So I have a little bottle that I use um, to put my water into. So it all fits in this little bag so easily. We'll throw it all in here. And then I'm going to get ready to head outside. Get my water in there, zip that up. I also could put my phone in there, that fits too. Uh, and then we'll be heading out, grab my coffee. Check it out. I'm going to do my pedal kayak and I think I might do that little island right there. Keep it close. I got a lot of sun this weekend for the 4th of July. That's either that island or that island. So we're gonna head out and uh, let's see how it goes. So I have all my goodies here, uh, my bang supplies and my coffee. And then I'm gonna try hooking you guys up to this little thing, see how this works on my kayak so we can get the video. Okay, I can see all the way down to the bottom. Part, getting in. Oh, well, 
the dragonflies hanging out in the front. Alright, let's see. Let's go a little closer over here. Go to right about there. What do you say? It's getting hot already. It's only 10 o'clock. I think it's supposed to be 84 today. Something like that. Alright, so I've got all my goodies here. This is my first attempt to do this in a kayak. So let's see how this all goes. Okay, can you even, yeah, you can see my face, I guess. That's where the camera is over there. So I've got, oh, got my little board. I'm going to do a little quick sketch first. And I might have to move a little bit. I'm actually using a little 5x7, and this one's done for an 8x10, so I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit. I think I'm going to go upright with this. Yep. I'm going to have to go this way with my sketch. So. Oh. Can you even see that? I have no idea what I'm showing you. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll see if we get it. All right, so I don't know if you can see the little sketch there that I did. I've already lost my viewfinder overboard. So my son's going to be diving for that. We're not too deep. Hopefully we can find it. So there's the, just that little corner tree is what I'm going to paint. And I found that I don't really have anything to hook this to so that you can really see me. So I'm just going to do it a little piecemeal here and show you what I'm doing as each step goes along. All right, so I'm going to start painting here in a second. Yep, sorry folks, I don't think this is going to work with me trying to videotape plus uh, paint. I just don't have a good angle on this. Ah. So I'm going to mix up my colors anyway. A little bit of blue, a little bit of green. What else do we need? Maybe some gray. Those are my three colors that I'll use. I put some darker colors. I got a paintbrush on my mouth. Darker colors on the top. Some green and blue. And I just started the rocks on the bottom. There it is. Okay, so I am really hot. <laughs> You know how you have those plans where they think, oh my gosh, what a great idea. Well, in order for me not to be moving all over the place, trying to videotape this and hold my paints, this was much more of a challenge than I thought. So, uh, what I've got so far, it is heating up out here. I started at 10 o'clock. This, I thought was a great idea, but turned out this is really difficult. I can't hold my camera. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it in the water. I need to have some kind of special mount to do this, but gives you an idea. It's absolutely beautiful out here. It's really fun to do. Look at that big dragonfly. He's a big boy. Um, but, you know, if I wasn't trying to tape this and stuff, I think this would be really enjoyable. The only problem is I'm having a hard time staying stationary, of course, unless I had something I could attach myself to. So I'm constantly trying to pedal, move, move my paints, move my phone. Whew. So anyway, there we have it. I'm going to go back to the house, I think, and just finish this up. And it's still a fun experience. I'll probably try it again. Maybe not um, try to videotape it. Just come out, enjoy the day. Heading back in. Didn't get very far, did I? Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's hot out here. Check out my landing job here. I'm gonna bring it in. 
She's coming in fast. Might have to put reverse in. No, she might have it. Let's see. I got it. Whew, shade at last. Oh my gosh. Oh, now to get out. So I'm back in. I'm going to grab my stuff out here again and see if I can finish up the painting. I got quite a bit done out there in that short period of time. Um, I could always leave this as is or throw some more details in there. And you guys know me. I like to do lots of details. I also have the new clay board piece coming out to our, uh, our first class, which was the fluid art piece with resin. So this is, that was an aqua board. This is the clay board piece I'm going to be showing. I'm adding this to it this week. Hopefully I'll have all the details for you. So if you've already signed up for the class, this will be added. If you haven't signed up for the class, I'll give you a special coupon so you can still get it at the discount price if you want to give these two a go. Post the finished results on Instagram or Facebook. And I think all in all, it wasn't a bad day. I hope you guys enjoyed having this uh, different type of tutorial. <laughs> I don't know if you'd call it a tutorial, but at least you got to see what I did. So we'll hope to see you guys next week. Have a great one. Bye-bye. So I just want to show you guys, I we had a big storm yesterday and I've been meaning to go out to do my plain air and my husband said, well, why don't you go grab the kayak? I said, well, I can't. I got, I got to get wet before I actually go in. So look at that. About two minutes later, he's out there taking time off from work, going to grab our kayaks. So you know what that means? It means I get to do my plein air. So stay tuned.